This is Joseph Jernigan, a murderer who was executed by the state of Texas and donated his body to science. Jernigan's body was used for something called the Visible Human Project, where he was sliced into over 1800 sections and imaged at high resolution to create a full rendering of the entire human body. And this is me exploring it in virtual reality. This was the first time I've experienced something like this, and let me tell you, it was incredible. His body was imaged in 1994, and apparently it actually caused researchers to realize that there were several errors in anatomy textbooks. Certain muscles and organs were basically located in the wrong place. The data set is not perfect, for example, it is missing a testicle and an appendix, but it's still an incredible resource. Virtual reality tools like this could really revolutionize the education system. I mean, if I had a tool like this while I was studying anatomy, it would have been very useful. Implementing VR systems into things like anatomy classes could reduce the need for cadavers and enhance the exposure to 3D models of the human body. The tool I'm using here is called SciGlass, and they actually have rolled it out in classrooms and had amazing results. So I'm curious, if you had this type of tool when you were going through school, would your experience with education be different? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.